Do you remember a time where, you know, movies actually had, you know, a soundtrack, original soundtrack to their films? Now, in these days, they just take a bunch of pop culture music and just push it right into the fucking movie and think that's going to really work for a film. Just pushing a bunch of pop culture fucking music in there and shit. And I feel like that's just laziness and they don't try at all to make their own, you know, hire a composer or something to make their own music for the, for the movie for original soundtrack and that's just pure laziness and I don't know why they just can't just make up their own music instead of just doing all that bullshit I mean at least just add some fucking badass rock music or something for like an action movie or something you know but then again they just like I said they just take a bunch of goofy fruity ass uh, pop, pop culture music in there they think it's actually going to work for an action movie and it does not work like that at all well any movie in general, any genre, they need to, like, use, you know, original soundtrack music. Hire a composer to make these type of music. Hell, you can hire a composer to make their own, you know, rock music for the film also. Just like for the movie Flash Gordon, they hired a queen to make their uh, make the original soundtrack for uh, Flash Gordon. And it was a huge success, the, uh, the music that they made for it, because they're a very successful band, Queen. You know, rest in peace, Freddie Mercury. And it was success successful. Just like with the movie Scarface, they hire uh, Brian De Palma hired the guy. Uh, what's his name? Uh, I don't think I pronounce his name right. I think it's Giorgio Moroder. Moroder. I, I forgot how to pronounce his last name. I, I know I butchered it. I know I did. But he is one of the greatest uh, s- soundtrack make music of all time. He's definitely one of the best music music producers of all time. He's definitely my favorite music producer of all time. Besides that, you also got, you know, uh, the guy from uh, Rocky, who did the Rocky music, and you got the guy who did uh, Star Wars music, John Williams. You also got the guy who did the music for Dirty Harry films. Uh, I forgot what his fucking name was. He, he's pretty famous, too. He's still alive. He's like 90-something. He's still fucking alive. John Williams is like 85. He's still fucking alive still. You know, they made like really successful music for the movies. I forgot who did Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Who did the soundtrack for that movie? Uh, let me see real quick here. Because you see on the screen right there, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, they, they use pop culture music in their stuff too. There's times they actually actually pick the, uh, the right music to make it work for the film. Unlike today, they just, just choose anything and they just don't give a rat's ass. If Ferris Bueller's Day Off, they actually choose the right music that actually make the film work and make it unique to where it is in today. Because it's very successful, isn't it? I don't know who this person is. Ira Newborn? Sounds familiar, though. But you don't see many of these composers anymore in, this, in these days and ages. I mean, you got uh, another guy who did the Spider-Man, the Batman music, and... For the you know, Tim Burton movies and stuff like that. I forgot what his fucking name was, but yeah, he made he made pretty good music too. But I'm not really crazy about him. Like I am with uh, Jojira Morder and uh, fucking the other dude from uh, from Dirty Harry. I'm not I'm not crazy about him. Like I am with those two. But he made he made a lot of great music too. He made like he could be able to close a lot of music for a lot of movies. But then again, look at now. They just like I said, these directors are just lazy. They just hire, they just put music in the movie and that's about it. Just put any like pop culture shitty music in the, in the movie. Instead, of just hire a composer to make original soundtrack or hire the right guy to put the right music in the right film and make it unique. They're just lazy now. Just absolutely lazy. They just don't care and they just, just want to just make money. No passion anymore. Zero passion. Zero. Zero. <laughs> 